Hello, readers. Uh, I'm back with another book that I wanted to talk up, and today I have a special guest. Since the book I'm going to talk about actually has dragons, CJ felt like he could not be left out. CJ, say hello. Yes. So the book that I wanted to tell you about today is called The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This book I read a little bit less than a year ago, and I had had it for a while before that. I'm not sure how I heard about this book. I think that maybe I saw it in the Scholastic order, and it just looked really good. So I ordered it, but then it sat on my shelf for a while. Maybe because it has a lot of pages, almost 400 pages long, but let me tell you, it is worth it. It starts a little slow, but it quickly picks up. Um, it is about a girl who is given up by her community as a sacrifice, um, but she is picked up by a good witch who accidentally enmagics her, accidentally feeds her something that winds up giving her magic. And so her newly adopted family has to find ways to uh, help her with this gift or burden, depending on how you look at it. There are um, monsters and magic and mistaken identities in this book. And I read it thinking it reminded me a little bit of the never-ending story, and a little bit of the Giver Quartet, actually. Um, just sort of that idea of, of things being different than they seem. Uh, so I would highly recommend you read The Girl Who Drank the Moon, um, if this is a little bit too challenging for you, read it with your parents. Parents, read it with your kids. It is a great book. And when I finished it, I was still thinking about it for a long time. It was on my mind, just thinking about it, wondering what had happened with the character since the story ends. So I hope you will pick this up. CJ, who has climbed down to my lap, hopes you will pick it up um, and keep reading. <laughs>